They are meant to keep you safe, but home security systems could be vulnerable to attacks from criminals. WREG's Marcus Hunter finds out how you can protect your home and your family. It's no secret, home break-ins and car thefts in Memphis are on the rise. According to the Memphis Police Department's data hub, there have already been more than 3,000 reports of thieves stealing items from cars or stealing the car altogether this year. Now, criminals are using new tactics so they don't get caught in the act. Blocking your Wi-Fi signal, rendering your security cameras and security systems useless. Some of the younger people use their phone before they they come past my surveillance cameras and then the image is just not there on playback. The woman who does not want to be identified because she's scared says due to crime in her neighborhood, she started to pay even more attention to what her security cameras were catching. She was surprised to see they were not working when crimes were being committed. Usually becomes prevalent when someone's committing an act that they don't want recorded. And it happens pretty often. So she went on the internet to see what could be causing the issue. That's where she learned about Wi-Fi signal jammers. The devices are small and cheap. The Federal Communications Commission says it is unlawful to advertise, sell, distribute, import, or otherwise market jamming devices to consumers in the United States. However, we found several online suppliers. The FCC also says the use of phone jammers, GPS blockers, or other signal jamming devices designed to intentionally block, jam, or interfere with authorized radio communication is a violation of federal law. We wanted to learn more, so we went to Dillard Door and Entrance Control and spoke with the president and CEO, Chris Bird. And ring cameras are convenient. They're very convenient, but the only way that they communicate is Wi-Fi. And so if Wi-Fi is defeated, uh, those particular cameras are down. Bird knows home security can be a bit of a chess game with criminals. He says the best way to protect your home and property is to stay a few steps ahead of the bad guys. Our recommendation is always to have two means of communication. And that means an old school wired security system with a cellular backup. He says a wired system will cost you more, but they are harder to disarm. If that cable is cut, then you still got a cell backup. Um, but a hardwired system is still the best. We reached out to MPD and they said they have not received any reports of any criminals using signal blockers. They also declined an interview. Memphis City Councilman Chase Carlisle says if signal blockers are being used in Memphis, it should be taken seriously. If that is occurring, you know, we need to verify and validate that that's the case and, and, and see what the city policy is and what the Constitution allows. The woman we spoke to says over the last two years, she has reached out to the FCC, MPD, elected officials, and even the post office to file complaints. She says Councilman Carlisle's secretary is the only person who has gotten back to her because she does not feel like she's being taken seriously. She is afraid to be inside of her own home. Many of us are afraid we don't know or we're just so doggone weary and worn down. When we contact you, return our calls. Reach out to us, please. The FCC says before filing a complaint, please be sure to troubleshoot your equipment and connectivity issues in accordance with manufacturer and service provider recommendations. In Memphis, Marcus Hunter, WREG News Channel 3. You got to stay a step ahead of them. And the FCC FCC says if you are caught with one of these jamming devices, you could face fines, even prison time.